Classes resume at Richneck Elementary in Newport News, Virginia, weeks after a first grader there shot and wounded his teacher in the classroom. It was overwhelming, but I was glad to see the officers there. Now, amid the fallout, CNN is starting to learn more about the six-year-old shooter. Well, what has been reported to the union is that in his kindergarten, kindergarten days, he was uh, seen choking a teacher. James Graves, president of the teachers' union here in Newport News, says the union is investigating if school leadership ignored warning signs. From what the teachers was telling me, they was told that, you know, don't worry about it. The assistant principal and principal dropped the ball. They really dropped the ball. The attorneys for the child's family didn't comment on his alleged past behavior. CNN has also reached out to the Newport News School District and to the principal who was in charge when the teacher was shot for response to the allegations of the child's past behavior. They didn't respond. The principal has been reassigned to another school. The revelations leaving parents frustrated. I was very angry about that one because they had all the warnings and they, they didn't do anything. The Newport News police chief was on hand for the student's return. We asked him if it's possible that one or both parents could be charged. I would be wrong to step outside that boundary. We're going to present the evidence, what we've collected from the evidence here at the school, from the records we reviewed, from the interviews we have. We're going to present that to the Commonwealth attorney. They will make that determination. He said the investigation is ongoing, but wouldn't answer if investigators questioned the six-year-old. Now, these elementary students must pass through metal detectors at the school. They'll have to carry see-through backpacks and will be learning with police nearby to, quote, assist with the transition. Very nervous and anxious about her coming back. Richneck parent Teresa Berry says despite the stepped-up security, unanswered questions are stirring up parents' fears. You don't know exactly what happened because you never know if this is going to happen again. Okay. Hopefully going forward, it'll, it'll be a lot better. And grandmother Dee Dee Williams says there's still room for more accountability for school staff after some change in leadership. I think more people should lose their jobs. This is a step forward. I hope it continues with what the city of Newport News is doing, the officers here. But it's a lot. It's a lot for these babies. These are babies, and they don't deserve this.